Welcome to another episode of C-Sharp Corner Videos. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get started with the Expression Blend 4. Expression Blend 4 actually is not available free. It's a part of now Expression Studio 4, which just which was released uh, last month. So if you do not have a uh, Expression Studio, I would say go to your MSD and downloads and download the latest version. In this uh, video, we are going to cover what is Expression Blend, why we need Blend, what are new features in new this version 4, and how it is related with Visual Studio 2010. Once we discuss this, after uh, we are going to see how to create a Silverlight application in Visual Studio 2010, and then how we can take advantage of Blend to design the uh, user interfaces. So what is Expression Blend? Expression Blend is a graphics design tool. So if you have ever designed a graphics uh, web pages or any kind of design you have done, you probably are familiar with uh, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks or any other design tools. What these design tools they do is they create a user interface where you can see how a web page or your application will look like. Once that UI is designed, then designer gives you images from um, images or HTML or whatever version you like. And designer also tells you what color schemes, what style sheets, what uh, other formats or uh, say you know your um, um, animations they have used. Uh, this is what actually Express Blend is used for: is uh, you know design the user interfaces. But Expression Blend is more than that. It you know it not only let you design the your UI pages, but also you can also actually write a code in it. So if I'm a programmer, it's basically if I'm a programmer and I want to design web pages, I don't have to rely on my designer. So I can design myself, and by the time I'm done, code is already written for me. So forget that older ways where designer is going to give you HTML code, color code, then CSS, then blah 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 here whatever you design code is already written in background for you so that saves a lot of time so why do we need Expression Blend? This is a good question we really don't need Expression Blend if you are just creating a simple application like you know there's a web page, there's a button, there's a you know text boxes and there's a bunch of other controls that is standard format you really don't need expression blend you expression blend you most of the cases you are going to need is when you are creating really um, you know super super uh, looking good looking uh, web pages with the uh, gradient animations videos uh, you know timelines and other stuff so that said besides the designing it generates jaml code for you what does that mean is when i'm designing a web page in blend i can take the code blend is already writing code for me jaml code for me for that you know um page i'm designing i can take that code and i can put that code in my wpf or uh, silverlight application and 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 then next other feature, you know, why IntelliSense is available in Jamal. So as soon as I type something, I can also see what else I can type if I have to type in the code. I can also add events and code for uh, the UI in Expression Blend. And then it's, it's very smoothly integrated with Visual Studio 2010. So if you have used uh, previous versions of Blend, you probably are familiar with it. So, but this version is a little better. It has more improved UI. Uh, it has Jamal IntelliSense, code editing. New. There are a lot of new controls added. Definitely, really good controls and useful controls. And it's better integration with Visual Studio 2010. So, what is the relationship between Blend and Visual Studio 2010? So, I would say Blend is a design tool where you can design design your UI. Even though you can write code, but it's not really are uh, good to write code. Uh, code I was still use with the Studio 2010. So you design application in Blend, open in Visual Studio 2010, and write your code there. That's what it comes to.
uh, after we in this video we are so far talking but I'm going to actually show you how we can you know get we can do this transition from how we are going to create a Silverlight application in Visual Studio 2010 we are going to open the page in expression blend we are going to design the page in blend then we are going to see you can also build and run your application in blend after that we are going to go back to Visual Studio 2010 do some make some changes to the code and then we are going to build and run the application so let's get started alright so here we are with the Visual Studio 2010 in this what I'm going to do is create a new application I'm going to create a new project and in this project I'm going to actually create a Silverlight application so I have Silverlight application select selected here and make sure you have .NET Framework 4 selected here by default in the left side I have Visual C Sharp and Silverlight selected here so I'm going to call and say OK I will uncheck this for now make sure Silverlight 4 is selected here in Silverlight versions again and say OK now as you can see my first Silverlight application is created um, in Visual Studio 2010 and as you can see this is my solution explorer where I can see all the files um, default file is main main page dot demo in this uh, file you can see by default there is a user control and there is just one grid control here and the uh, the UI look like here nothing so far there's no no control or anything on this um, you know page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a nice UI and guess what I'm going to use express and blend for that so for this feature what we are going to do is right click on that page and say open an express and blend however if you do not have express and blend installed on your machine or express and studio installed on your machine you will not see this option so if you don't see this option that means you need to reinstall your expression studio or expression blend on your machine so open an expression blend and I'm going to open this in my expression blend and here expression blend is opening and as soon as you see this is how my page look like in expression blend um, this expression blend is redesigned if you if you have used older versions so so many things are changed here um, you can see here this is a select these are two selection options this is a zoom and you can zoom and pan uh, these are you know eyedropper you know pen bucket and a gradient you know pencil pen tool uh, that's where we need to know is these are our controls right here so if you right click on any of these you will see different more options so by default say rectangle is control is selected here by default but if you right click on this you will see rectangle ellipse and line if you right click on this grid you will see grid canvas stack panel you know border view box right click on text you will see text box you know whatever control related to that category you know uh, that uh, category uh, you see more options here and you can also click this to see different more options and you know some new controls added to uh, express and blend so let's go back um, what we are going to do is re here you know we'll be keep talking about so many new features but first our goal is to see how express and blend and visual studio 2010 both are you know combined and to build a silverlight application so what I'm going to do is create a very simple application where I'm going to drag and drop a say text box control here text block by default and a uh, where is my button button control right here I'm going to oh, button control now you need to make sure this is there's no selection by default so every time you need to 
drag and drop you need to make sure selection is there so this is my text block I'm going to give this a name text block one and I'm going to give my button a name button one now what I'm going to do is you can double click on any control to edit it in express and blend but if you need to do write an event handler so by default when you click on button I want to do something right so this is my properties pane if you see right here and this you have properties and then you have events so this events if you click on that you will see all the events related to one control so if I have button selected here button selected here you will see all button related events and here's click event so if you double click on that what you will see is boom right here so this is my button click event handler hey check this out this is not opening in Visual Studio it's opening actually in blend itself in previous versions it would actually launch Visual Studio so here what I'm going to do is what I'm doing is when you click on this button I'm ch changing the text of the text block and you know so let's just build F5 build and run it simple so by default this is my page look like when I click on button button is pretty big here button is clicked hey boom so let's close this so what we learn here is uh, actually now go back to our design you can see but this is not the main feature we're talking about this is just showing how I can create a silver light application in Visual Studio and then open and blend to see all the other features we are going to use in my next videos we are going to use all these blend features and how we can you know really create good looking uh, application silver light or WPF application so uh, now if you go back to your Visual Studio this was either you can close or if you go back to Visual Studio so I'm going to switch back to Visual Studio you will see hey your file has been modified you'll say yes and what you will see is the code you just designed in Express and Blend is written here for example and you can see the same code and same UI in Visual Studio 2010 now good part is you can always come back once your application is designed you can always come back and modify it the way you you like in Visual Studio as well so what I'm going to do is uh, my button does not have a width so I'm going to set with 200 and same thing applies to text block I can also change some other properties say um, now I can build and run same application here just hit F5 or use this build and run sample whatever option you like to use and it's opening here we go so there you go so that said the purpose of this video was to show you how you know we can get started with express and blend 4 and you know combine both visual studio and express and blend together to build a silver light application so in my uh, keep watching the video and uh, you know I'll be writing more I am actually writing more videos on uh, other features and how to use whole express and blend to build a uh, really good looking applications.